Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Beatrice. Today's video is dedicated to mobility. So it's, it's going to be a yoga class, but dedicated to bring about mobility in the joint. So often yoga focuses on flexibility, which is a passive range of motion at the joint. Um, so it's that range of motion that we develop or have when we are holding postures passively. We're not moving in postures. So for example, um, it could be that we are helped by gravity to fold forwards, or maybe we are pressing ourselves forwards with a hands or a strap. That is passive. Um, whether mobility is a more active range of motion that we can control and move through the range of motion we have with activity. This is in a nutshell. If you want to know a little bit more, you can click through the link in um, the description below, which is going to send you to my blog. And I've uh, written a little bit more extensively about it. So whenever you're ready, let's get on the class and let's get on the mat. So we will start this class on our back, no need for props. Coming down to the ground. And starting with the soles of the feet on the ground and the rest of the body down as well. So the knees are bent and the knees are coming against each other. So supporting each other in the midline, soles of the feet are on the ground. And starting either with the palms up or down, doesn't matter. Maybe bringing the hands on your abdomen. Actually, if you have the arms out, have the palms up. And if you have the hands into, towards the belly, have the palms down. And just taking a few moments to notice the body coming into the space of the practice. Start to bring your attention to the breath. Notice if you can gently make the breath a little bit longer. And using this breath throughout the practice, trying to maintain the breath as smooth as possible. From here, walk the feet to about hip width distance apart, close, fairly close to your sitting bones, as close as you can. Bring the hands either side of your body, start with the palms facing down. So we are taking a few active bridges and maybe adding the arms and the shoulder movement as well. That's if you want, if you don't, just focus on the bridges. So starting by pressing the heels to the ground, let's first move into a little bit of um, pelvic movement. So rather than coming straight to the bridges, as you inhale, flatten the back to the ground. So that lower back is completely on the ground. Exhale, release. Inhale, flatten. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. A couple more. Inhale. And exhale. Now, when you're ready from here, press the heels down to the ground. And just like you've done now, 
Inhale, start to flatten the back to the ground. And when you have it all to the ground, lift the hips up to the ceiling. Don't be afraid to use the glutes. Press the heels and lift all the way up to the sky. So engaging the glutes is actually great because they support your lower back. They support a lot of movement, movement in the body. So really bring the hips up as you use the glutes and the length of your legs. Press the heels to the ground. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Now, if this feels like a lot for you, continue here. Otherwise, as you inhale, lift the hips, lift the arms. And try to let, keep the ribs in, try not to flare them up. Maybe you can reach all the way up overhead. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Touching the ground with the hands at the same time as you touch the ground with the lower back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. A couple more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale, lift it all up. Exhale, down. Bring the knees into the chest and you can hold onto the back of your thighs and rock up and down the spine. As you exhale, come up to seated and all the way up onto your hands and knees. So before we move into other movements at the joints, at the hips, and the hands and the shoulders, um, actually still movement at the joint, taking a few cat and cow, so moving through the vertebrae, the um, spinal joints. So bringing the hands under your shoulders, knees under the hips, and as you inhale, lift the hips up to the sky, lift the tailbone up to the sky, drop the belly, open the heart. Exhale, let the head fall down. Press into each fingertip as you spread the shoulder blades apart and round all the way down through the spine, tuck the tailbone down. Inhale from the tailbone up to the crown of the head. And exhale from the head down into the tailbone. Couple more, inhale, drop the belly, open the heart. Exhale, round the spine. Last one, inhale, extend the spine. Exhale and round. And as you inhale, return to your neutral spine. So in a way that doesn't feel any pressure along the vertebrae. And from here, extend the left leg back, lengthen it off the ground, lift it off the ground, keep pointing the toes to the ground and try to keep the rest of the body still, the abdomen engaged as you lift the right arm off the ground, opposite arm and leg. Exhale, release. Gently touch the ground. Inhale, lift. Try to keep the rest of the body still. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. As you exhale, right hand comes down, left leg stays up, bend the knee, keep flexing the foot and begin to roll the hips out and in. So the knee comes out, exhale, bring it back in. Again, try to keep the rest of the body still. Inhale, open out. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale out, exhale in, one more, inhale out and exhale in. 
Reverse that movement, exhale out, inhale in. Seeing if it makes any difference to reverse that movement. Two more this way. And exhale, bring it down to the ground, moving through to the other side. So this time, right leg lengthens back. Bring your body weight to the right hand and the left leg. And see if you can lift that left leg off the ground as you keep the belly in. Maybe left arm lifts up. Pulling the toes of your right foot to the ground. Exhale, release. Slightly touch the ground. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it down. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale, lift up. Exhale, release the left hand, bend the right knee and begin to circle the hip on this side. So first going out and coming in for about five times and then reversing the circle the other way. Maintaining the breath as deep and long as you can. So slowing the movement if you can slow the breath. Reverse that movement, reverse that circle. Exhale and release and sit back towards the heels. So you're coming down to child's pose and you can take it with narrow legs or wide legs, it doesn't matter. So big toes together, knees out or knees together. Lengthen forward. And we're not going to stay in hold child's pose. Just a couple of breaths. Just so we can release the wrists. And on your inhale, begin to come back up to hands and knees. Bring the knees back in line with the hips. Try to keep the left hand more or less in the midline in between the hands planting each fingertip down so we're relieving pressure off the wrists. As we inhale, bringing some thoracic mobility in. So inhaling to lift the right arm up, trying to keep the hips facing down, so not moving anything apart from the thoracic spine. Right arm doesn't have to be parallel or fingertips don't have to be up to the ceiling. Exhale, thread that arm underneath, touch the ground. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, thread the arm. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thread the arm. Inhale, lift. Two more. Exhale, thread. Inhale, lift. Last one. Exhale, thread. Inhale, come back through centre. Switch hands. So replace the left hand with the right. And as you inhale this time, left arm lifts. And as you exhale, we thread underneath the right. Inhale, open up. And notice if doing this on one side feels any more, um, a bit stiffer, a bit more difficult than the other side. Last one. Inhale, come through center. And this time prepare for downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide, plant each fingertip down. Tuck your toes. And see if you can do this slowly. So as you inhale, bring the belly in, engage the abdomen, lift the knees off the ground and slowly send the hips up and back and press the chest towards the thighs. 
Maybe you can pedal the feet, bring about a little bit of movement in the legs and the hips, looking back to the feet, trying to relax the neck. So we can really try not to add any tension in the shoulders and neck. Make your way up to the top of your mat. So you can take it step by step. Actually, if you can, take it step by step. Come onto the fingertips. And come all the way up to the top. As you inhale, come to your halfway lift. Bring the hands to the shins. Roll the shoulders back, straight spine. Exhale to fold. And on your inhale, slowly unroll up to standing. See if you can bring movement into the spine. So rolling up from the lower back into the chest, vertebrae by vertebrae. And as you reach the top, opening the chest and the palms forward. So we'll take a different version of uh, sun salutation, which is um, a three, uh, first part of sun salutation, but with an added squat. So as we are at the top, feet are about hip width distance apart. As we inhale, lifting the arms up to the sky. As we exhale, open the arms out, swan dive down. Inhale, rather than the halfway lift, drop the hips down, bring the hands parallel to the ground. Exhale, fold. Inhale and roll up. Exhale, open the arms, palms forward. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, drop the hips, arms out. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. All the way up to standing. Last one, inhale, bring the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold. Drop the hips down, arms forward. Exhale, fold. And from this fold, bringing the hands to the ground, stepping the right leg back, coming straight to a lunge. Press into that front heel, high lunge here. Back foot presses to the back of the room. Inhale and lift up. See if you can find your stability here first in the lunge. And this time for now, keep the hands at your heart. As you exhale, drop that back knee towards the ground, not touching the ground. Almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, drop down. Inhale and lift. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale up, exhale down. Two more, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, lift up, exhale down. Hold here, don't touch the ground. Right arm forwards, left arm back, twist to the side. Inhale, lift to center, lift that knee. And as you exhale, see if you can shift your weight towards your left foot. Maybe bring that foot a little bit closer to your front foot. Bring that back foot a little bit closer in. And maybe bring the hands of your heart. Shift your body weight forward, come to a warrior three. Upper body is parallel to the ground. Back foot points down to the ground. On your inhale, bend into that front knee, bring that right leg forward towards your chest. Bend the knee, bring it forward. Try not to use your hands, bring it up to the chest. Flex your right foot if that helps. Squeeze it up, up, up if you can. If you wobble, that's fine. And see if just with your strength, you can open the knee out to the side as much as you can without moving the hips. Inhale, move through center, and exhale, release. Well done, just moving through to the other side. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale to fold. 
halfway lift, inhale, exhale, bring the hands down, left leg steps back, coming through to our lunge, sinking into that front knee, pressing that back heel to the back of the room, inhale, high lunge, and keep the hands at your heart, and as you exhale, start to bend that back knee towards the ground, don't touch, inhale, lift up, exhale, sink down, inhale, lift, Exhale, sink. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Inhale, lift. This time, sink and hold. Come into our twist. Right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale through to center, bring the hands of your heart, lift that back knee, shift your weight to the right leg, maybe step it forward slightly, and then start to come forward. You can stay on your toes, maybe lift the leg all the way off the ground, point the toes to the ground, and most of you parallel to the ground. Upper body is also in line with the ground, so we're not folding forwards. From here, Bend your front knee, see if you can lift that left leg towards your chest. Bend your left knee, bring it forward. Squeeze it in, flex your front foot. If you can, open the knee out to the side as you keep that right hip in line. Try not to use your hands. Exhale, bring it to center and down to the ground. Nice, inhale, lift arms up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. On your exhale, this time right leg steps back, spinning that back heel parallel to the back of the mat. So short edge of your mat in line with the back foot. Front heel is in line with the inner arch of the back foot. Inhale, lifting up to our warrior two, sinking into that front knee, arms out, palms down. From here, straight into our triangle, but this time we're taking an active one. So heel to the back foot slightly closer to the front foot, straightening into that front knee. Open the arms up, out, and as you exhale, shift the hips back to the right, you'll see the upper body is going to the left, over your left leg. Release the left hand whenever you want, whenever you feel there's no more space to hinge to the left, but the palm of the hands face forward so we're not using that leg to hold us up. Fingertips of the right hand point up to the ceiling, trying to keep it active. As you exhale, bend into that front knee, come into side angle, right arm up and over. If you want to, you can touch the ground with the left hand. Inhale, come back to triangle, lift it up, open the chest. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, lift up. Last one, exhale, side angle. Hold here, and if you can, press the knee against the arm and the arm against the knee. Really keep it engaged. Inhale, lift up, straighten that front knee. Turn the feet to face forward and just shift side. Right foot points forward, left foot is in line with the back of the mat. Sink into that front knee, come into warrior two to begin with. Arms out, palms down. Whenever you're ready, straighten that front knee. Maybe you need a shorter stance just for stability. And then shift the hips out to the left as the upper body comes right. When you feel you can't hinge anymore, right arm down, left arm up, pointing the fingertips the opposite direction, keeping it active, not using that leg to support. Open the chest forward. Moving through to side angle, bend that front knee, maybe touch the ground, maybe don't. Left arm up and over. Inhale, lift, triangle. Exhale, down, side angle. 
inhale lift press onto that front heel exhale down this time hold make sure that back foot is grounded as well and if you want to press the hand the arm against the leg and the leg against the arm and open up the chest inhale through to center and bring the feet parallel facing forward exhale fold down the midline you can keep the hands on the ground and just bend into that left knee drop the hips to the left inhale through center exhale right if you want more drop the hips a little bit lower point the toes of the left foot up maybe bring the hands of your heart your choice or maybe take it down inhale lift exhale left maybe hands are heart inhale lift exhale right inhale lift exhale left couple more inhale lift exhale go to the right inhale lift exhale left and last one on the right inhale lift exhale drop right inhale lift through center exhale fold forwards and when you're ready heel toe the feet more or less as wide as your hips or a little bit wider point the toes out to the corners of the mat 45 degrees and as you exhale drop the hips down towards the ground into malasana let yourself sink if your heels don't touch the ground that's fine you can be on your toes you can have the legs a little bit closer to each other that's fine you can always bring prop props into the practice to support yourself in malasana so you can bring blocks or a blanket or just double up the mat as much as you need to to support your heels that's fine not everyone has that openness in the ankles and it might never happen because it's not soft tissue but it's just simply compression in the bones so that's not necessary to have bring the hands of your heart and see if you can press the elbows against the knees and the knees against the elbow and open the chest wide another thing you can do is bring a block under your sitting bones As you exhale release it all down come down to seated and this is the end of the practice so come down to a comfortable seat bring hands on your knees or in your lap take a moment to observe your breath and if you can bring it back to its natural rhythm ready to close the practice bring the hands to your heart center and take a moment to be thankful for something maybe be thankful for this body that allows you to take this practice and then bow down and thank yourself for taking the time Thank you so much for practicing with me i hope you enjoyed this practice and if you did please join me again and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet i hope you join me again soon thank you again